Mock Wheel, an e-bike company, got a hold of me and they says, we see you do e-bike reviews. We think we got one that's unique and would be applicable to your channel. And I thought, well, what is it, red? And it says Barmall on it. I mean, <laughs> just because it has wheels. And I've already got six of them. I mean, I'm, I'm for the most part, I am good on e-bikes. I got step-throughs. I got non-step-throughs. I've got dual suspension i've got single suspension i got them all and they said well this one you might like and they sent me the link and i thought yeah i don't have one like that that's for sure <laughs> today we're going to check out the mock wheel trike in camo yeah has anybody ever seen the movie hellraiser the box you opened it we came that's what this is it's a trike here on Farm All Fanatic. All right, pretty much comes out of the box like this. Just put the pedals on, through the handlebars and the seat on, real easy. Probably the best tool set I've seen, bright and shiny we'll call it. Just like TMC, the truck driving company, bright and shiny. For you truckers, you'll get that, but they come together nice. I'm throwing a basket on her next. I am not reading the instructions, as I should, but I've put enough of these together. I am advanced in assembly. Let's go, let's show. Another thing worth noting, and yeah, I got the tools all apart. It does come with spare hardware. That's a big deal. That's a big deal because in unboxing or driving it around, test driving or whatever it is you're doing, um, <laughs> you, you can easily miss, you know, lose one of these or, or whatever, and I just did. I just spilled a washer out. But yeah, I mean, that's cool. Well, here is the granite by mock wheel convenience two times two. Oh, there's so much to talk about and so little time to do it um you can see right here it does fold right there it's a tricycle it does not have the four inch tires like i have on my bicycles these are three inch this is more designed for the urban setting just carrying your goods you could go to the grocery store haul this or a weekend adventure, say at the beach, if you wanted to ride this down the boardwalk. Just absolutely perfect. The basket is massive. I could probably put, I would safely say four different gallons of milk in there if I wanted to. That's about the rough sketch size. By far, and this is by far the best seat on any of the e-bikes I have. This is, this is really squishy and it's almost a gel feel to it. Really, really good. Um, I have taken this for a spin, a shake, and you do not need to know how to ride a bike, obviously, if you're gonna ride a tricycle. However, some of you are going to remember the big red three-wheelers, and they don't manufacture them anymore, and I'll let you guys deduce why. But, you know, again, for flat driving, this is, this is just perfect, man. This, this really is. So if we're going up in town, nice day like today, and it is, by the way, it's really hot out. It's like 92 degrees <laughs> right now, and we ain't even hit noon yet. So, but yeah, um, some of the features, it's 20 miles an hour, 500 watt motor, 350 pound weight capacity. Of course, I got this in the camo. They must have seen my hunting segment and thought, well, he's gonna want camo, and you are right comes in three or four different colors. I will leave a link down below so you can check those out. I know blue is one of them. And uh, you know, if it's blue, it's for you. It does have a nice readout here. This, these, these handlebars do adjust high low to match the adjustment on the seat. I have it pretty much at the lowest level. Well, no, it's sitting a little bit higher. The seat's sitting a couple inches higher, but it's a trike so you can do what you want. Um, the ergonomic design of the grips is really comfortable. I'm getting picky, especially with the e-bikes. Uh, it has the typical Shimano 7 speed, which is nice. I have pedaled this as well, and that works excellent. Mock wheel, I should take that off. There we go. So we're going to go turn it on in the sun. Okay, you hold it. And there you go. It's on. It says hello. And then there's your readout. Hopefully you can see that. I can off camera. But uh, 
we'll get it in the shade and just check everything out. All right, full charge is a five to six hour time frame. Again, you can remove the battery. I don't, the way I charge these, I just pull them up, put them on, on charge. I don't charge any e-bike over 80 degrees Fahrenheit. I don't charge them unattended and I don't charge them overnight. I make sure I'm right then and right there to do so. Um, it does come with spare, I believe, brake pads. The light is bright. I tried that last night, works very well. Uh, this is this is cool, man. You know, this is really cool bike. We're gonna take it for a spin right now. Okay, we're in a shade, so hopefully it's a little bit better of a readout here. Um, it's pretty much typical. This has the five levels of pedal assist. And, you know, in theory with these, each level should increase your speed. Um, we're gonna start right off in level one. You can see right here, we're in zero. We're gonna shift that up to level one. Okay, and we're gonna see how fast we go. This does have the thumb throttle right here, not the twisty, which I'm, I like, I really like the thumb. So let's go. <clears throat> okay, so we're doing seven miles an hour in level one. <clears throat> and I need to tighten up that display. That's not a manufacturer's defect. That's that's an assembly defect. That's on my behalf, and I will tighten that up. But yeah, we're, figure about seven miles an hour in one. Okay, let's get in the shade so you can see. We're at one right there. Let's go to two. And you, it's it's not like um, I mean you can start off in five. And I could take right off right now, but yeah, we'll go to two and see what the difference is. Okay, I'm off-road right now a little bit in the yard. Not really what you would construe as off-road, but... Yeah. Now, people think, oh, it's a tricycle. It's a lot more stable than a bicycle. You still gotta watch the terrain you're in. Okay, so let's, let's check this out. Down a hill. This is not using the pedals. Okay, so we're doing 11 miles an hour in two. That's not pedaling. Okay, let's shift it up to three. All right, we're in three. I'll be honest with you. <laughs> I, uh, you know, it, it, have it up to about 14 in three. And I gotta tell you, may, maybe with two hands on both, on the handlebar, be a little more comfortable. But yeah, this bike, this bike's gonna, gonna move. Now I do wanna see how it climbs hills. That is always a question I get. So let's go check that out. Another thing I should tell you is I did not charge this battery. This is right out of the box and uh, it's showing just about a full charge. Now that's not guaranteeing that you're going to have a full charge when you get yours, but I've never received an e-bike that had less than probably about 70%. So you can get it out of the box, you can take it for a shake and then come back and, and fully charge it. I like to run them almost completely down before I put them on full charge. That's just me from my experience. Let's go test this thing out on a hill. Okay, so there's a hill right here at the bottom of my road. Pretty decent gradient. And it always tests these e-bikes out fairly well. I do not pedal, I make the motor work. I wanna see what the motor can do without pedaling at all. I am still in number three, which on flat ground in three, you're gonna do about 14 to 14 and a half miles per hour. And I haven't even gone to four or five yet, but we're going to keep it right in three. We're going to try to get maximum speed at the bottom, and we're going to see what happens once we get to the top. So let's go. Okay, I'm doing 13. Halfway up the hill, 10, 9, no pedal, 8, climbing the hill, no pedal, 7, eight we're going okay so we climb the hill no problem on this trike so there's your test and there you go
Higher inflation, it calls for 25 to 40 pounds. I have these set at 30. I like to be on the lower end of things. Three inches can become, you know, a little wider when it's got a little less air in it. These are the 20 inch tires by three inch. Overall for comfort, I rate this thing a 10 out of 10. I mean, you're not getting a better seat. Everything's placed perfectly for you. You're not hunched over. You're, and then, and then there's so many adjustments to make it comfortable for you. It just is everything I thought it would be. Really nice trike. fun to drive in camo. I realize this is made mainly for urban riding, but I tend to be a little more of an off-roader. Let's take it to the field. Yeah, and what I do is I leave my field edges slightly mowed so I can get around them with a four-wheeler. And, uh, you know, I'm going to see what this is like. It should not perform well off-road. Yeah, the suspension, the front suspension works really good. For an urban setup, it did okay. Uh, where I will use it in the field is, like I have about seven cellular trail cameras out right now, and closer to hunting season and stuff like that, I'll put about 10 more out. And this basket will hold every one of them, plus batteries, plus other things that I need. And uh, it's gonna work out real good for me. I'm gonna leave a link down below and you like camo? You like e-bikes? Get you one. Under $1,800. $1,799. Yep. All yours. I'll see you at the next video. We gotta get this field called a mulched. Boom.